Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to a very exciting video. Big thank you to the EA Creator Network for handing over a key to play F1 2022 a little bit early. The game releases in July or June if you pick up the Champions Edition. And today we're going to have a little run through the Miami Grand Prix. Miami Grand Prix is happening for the first time ever this weekend. It's a brand new track, never been included before. And in my opinion at least, it's quite fun to drive. So hopefully the race is exciting too. So we're going to do a quick five lap race on that new track. And I'm going to talk you through some of the features that are included both in that track and also in the game. Let's get to it. Okay, we've made it to the grid. Uh, I'm doing this race as the wonderful Pierre Gasly in the Alpha Tauri. So we're starting about midfield because I do want to show off, well, <laughs> hopefully show off some of the overtaking zones and how the cars behave differently in this version of the game. They have updated the handling and the physics and tires quite a lot. Obviously, 2022 has completely new cars, completely different regulations. So the game has changed as well. So hopefully we can get some wheel to wheel racing in, but let's get to it. Okay, don't mess up the start, because I always do. <laughs> I always do. Oh, he just catches me off guard every time, but that's not a bad start. We can move past Schumacher and Bottas, hopefully. Nope, Schumacher's got away from us. That's fine. Anyway, let me talk you through the track a little bit. It's, uh, in my opinion at least, quite a nice layout. This is <laughs> this immediately, immediately took a, t a bad turn for me. Uh, it's quite a nice layout. we got this nice opening right-hander here quite smooth and then it goes into this fairly fast little S's section here and then coming up as soon as I get past Lance Stroll which I can't we have this very very wide sweeping left turn here which I think in the races I've done so far is probably the best place for an overtake if I'm honest um, it's quite not easy obviously it depends who you're racing against but it's a really nice spot to try and shuffle yourself down the inside and make an overtake before you get to this first DRS zone. Uh, DRS not active yet, but will be on lap three. So then you've got quite a tight turn there, coming in front of this lovely grandstand area. This is a very slow section of the track under these uh, these highways here. The very slow chicane there. Uh, not really sure on the chances for overtaking there, but coming onto this, the back straight, as long as you've got DRS, could be some overtakes here because this is a very long, very, very fast straight. Uh, you will reach about 210 miles an hour if you're lucky. So as long as you've got a lot of speed into it and DRS, you can probably make some overtakes coming up to this very tight hairpin at the end there. And then back round to the pit lane. Pit lane which also has a chicane in it, so if you're doing Battery fully manual... I'll work on that. Uh, so if you're doing manual pit stops, be aware of that. Um, they've also changed how pit stops work. If you're doing fully manual pit stops, uh, you will have a little window to get into the pit box. And if you mistime that, it could lead to mistakes from your engineers. So you want to be very careful about that. I've kind of overcut that corner, but here's what I mean about that corner. Oops, sorry Schumacher. Give you a little, give you a little nudge. But that is a very good spot for overtaking there, as long as you're brave about it. And you will have heard our engineer there. Sadly, no more Jeff. Jeff has gone on his holidays, taken a year out, and we now have Mark, the race engineer. So another little change there. So let me, while I'm doing this, go through some other features. F1 2022, <gasps> for the first time, features virtual reality, which uh, sadly is not an option for me but if it is an option for you highly recommend because I can imagine it's probably a lot of fun there is an ongoing fight with Schumacher and I am barely winning it so there's that they also have added adaptive AI which is not a necessity you do not have to have it fully adaptive if you don't want to but it means that the AI will uh, react differently and react a bit more competently to, to what you're doing. DRS now enabled. DRS enabled. Which could lead to some very spicy racing. Uh, we still have the normal difficulty settings, the uh, the nice slider from F1 2021. Uh, we're currently playing this on the high end of medium and the low end of hard. I think we're on about 63 right now in terms of difficulty. So nothing too crazy, but... 
enough to uh, to give you a little bit of an edge. Medium, not too bad. I usually play on hard, up in the 70s, which I know a, a lot of people go much higher than that, but let me tell you, my skills ain't there. But uh, yeah, this is pretty nice. So yeah, we're on medium right now, getting used to the cars, how they feel. They do feel very different, and what's nice is races like this, you can have realistic performance where each car will perform relatively similar to how they do in real life. Or equal performance, which means, well, exactly what it says on the tin. Which means every car will drive pretty much the exact same in terms of performance anyway, in terms of speed and all that. So it can ultimately be completely your choice. But it does feel very different. Like I said, they've changed the physics and the handling. Obviously, these cars are completely different. So the game does reflect that quite well. And I really want to overtake Ocon. I really want to do it. Uh, but yeah, Miami is it's a nice track. I like the layout of it. I am in the top 10. That was a nice little self-esteem boost. Thank you. It is uh, it is a street circuit, so obviously high walls on either side, but there are like fairly decent runoffs on some of the wider corners, which is good. And up here, where this S's section is, coming up to that big left-hander, is where the fake marina is. So you can have a nice look at all the uh, yachts, inverted commas. Oh boy, yeah, I did exceed track limits. Don't worry, I'm, I'm well aware of that. Track limits are reasonably generous on Miami, however, obviously because there's walls on each side, you really shouldn't be going over them. So you do want to be careful about that. I am convinced that we can get top six here. I'm convinced. Well, maybe seventh. Magnuson's got a bit wide there. I'm a little bit worried. But I gotta say, if you're a fan of F1 2021, you will be a fan of 22. They've not, you know, remade the wheel. Which is, I suppose, an appropriate analogy. Oh, DRS, give me it. Oh, yes. I mean, we start... Where did we start? Did we start in 11th, I think? 9th is not bad. We're in the points. But, you know, higher would be very pleasant. I'm convinced that we can get Archon and maybe Magnuson on this, uh, this next... Oh, this last lap, even. Oh, dear. I didn't know we were on the last lap already. Thank you, Mark. So, like I said, this does include VR, which I think is compatible with pretty much every VR headset. So, your Oculuses and your Vives. And I really want to try it out. I've got to be really honest. Always wanted to play an F1 game in VR. Just let me just let me let me just okay. We took Ock on. That's good. Good job. Nice overtake. We might be able to get Magnuson if we're really feeling spicy. Come here. <laughs> I'm using all the battery I have available to me, which I might come to regret when we get to the back straight because Archon's going to have DRS on us, which means he could just probably take his uh, take his place back. I do really like this section. It's very, very slow. It's a little bit scary. It's extremely tight. But, oh boy. That, with all 20 cars going down it, that area is terrifying. <laughs> so I'm hoping that the race this weekend... Oh, I oh can't know. Hoping that the race this weekend will have some serious drama to it. Like I said, it is the first time we're going to be seeing Miami in F1, and I'm quite excited for it. This is, like I said, a completely new track. Get out of here. And so far, I really do like the layout of it. And there we have it. Okay, Ooh. We took eighth. That's not bad. That's not bad for old Pierre Gasly. Good work. Did not get driver of the day, though. Next time. So there you have it, our first race of the Miami Grand Prix. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. The layout of that track is really nice, actually. I like it. It's got a lot of good corners. That big left-hander where the marina will be, really nice for overtaking, in my opinion. Because you can really just dive straight down the inside of it, which is fabulous. So, this is quite a short video. Thank you very much for watching. 
Stick around, subscribe for more videos like this one. Have yourselves a wonderful day. I'll catch you in the next one.